China's technological revolution in recent years has changed lives and transformed businesses. But its advances in cutting-edge technologies, including artificial intelligence, have caused the U.S. to sit up and take notice. The economics and trade issue gets mixed together with the chances of war and our improving Taiwan's deterrent status then it's going to cause an overall deterioration in our relations with China. That's going to affect the market, I'm afraid. Too many Americans underestimate China's rise as a tech giant, thinking it's no match for the US in innovation. The reality, China is not only catching up, but in some areas, it's taking the lead, especially in military tech. Many believe that simply stopping the CCP from pilfering American tech is enough. Spoiler alert, it's not. The US is already lagging in crucial technologies and could fall behind even further. This complacency threatens America's prosperity and security now and in the future. Is it time for America to wake up and fully commit to winning the tech race? Let's dive in and find out. In today's world, where global power is tightly tied to tech innovation, the US has always been ahead of the game. From the fastest supercomputers to the most advanced jet fighters and cutting-edge robots, American companies have led the charge. However, China's booming economy, now the second largest globally, and its massive government investments in technology are rapidly closing that gap. Reflecting on the JFK's inaugural address, he once said, In the long history of the world, only a few generations have been granted the role of defending freedom in its hour of maximum danger. That sentiment feels even more urgent today. We are that generation. The challenge we face from the People's Republic of China, led by the Chinese Communist Party, is greater than the one JFK's America faced with the Soviet Union. Economically, militarily and diplomatically, China is a formidable rival, determined to reshape global norms away from the values of freedom and democracy. Since JFK's inspiring call to win the space race, America has thrived as a hub of cutting-edge technology. This edge has fueled economic growth, making US products highly sought after, and bolstered national security by giving the military a leg up on adversaries. But now, China's long-term strategy to dominate key tech sectors is eroding America's lead. A recent study shows China leading in 37 out of 44 critical technologies based on the share of highly cited research. For those worried that open source publishing speeds up the spread of dual use tech, there's a twist. China is out publishing the US ad to this China's dominance in markets like critical minerals, batteries, electric vehicles, solar cells, and advanced telecom like 5G and 6G and the picture of their tech prowess becomes even clearer. While the US still leads in areas like vaccines, quantum computing, and space launch systems, it's crucial to recognize the shifting landscape. The battle for technological supremacy is far from over, and the stakes for both prosperity and security are higher than ever. The report makes it clear, no one should have been surprised when China tested a nuclear-capable hypersonic glide vehicle. China is outpacing the US by publishing four times as many highly cited papers on hypersonic technology and advanced aircraft engines, along with leading in other crucial sciences related to hypersonic flight. Reaching speeds above Mach 5 isn't easy. It requires breakthroughs in low friction surfaces to reduce and manage the intense heat from air friction, as well as developing new materials that can withstand high temperatures and extreme forces on control surfaces. China is leading the pack, publishing three times as many influential papers on innovative metamaterials, eight times as many on advanced coatings, and three times as many on high-spec machining processes compared to the next country, often the US. Furthermore, China's manufacturing capabilities, nearly double those of the US in these areas, give the PRC a significant edge in the race for hypersonic dominance. Moreover, the CCP's secretive nature is evident in its research priorities. Their leadership in photonic sensors, quantum communications, advanced optical communications, and post-quantum cryptography could allow them to secure their communications against Western interception and potentially compromise Western classified communications. On the flip side, the US excels in high-performance computing 
integrated circuit design and fabrication, and natural language processing. However, it falls behind China in areas like machine learning, advanced analytics, and protective cybersecurity technologies. The study also highlights that while the US is ahead in small satellite research and space launches, it lags behind China in drones, autonomous systems, and advanced robotics. Lastly, although the US leads in quantum computing research, it trails China in post-quantum cryptography, quantum communications, and quantum sensors. Then there are semiconductors, or computer chips, that are also at the core of this intense competition between the United States and China. These tiny components are crucial to the modern economy, embedded in everything from washing machines to missile guidance systems. The ability to access reliable and affordable semiconductors is a major factor in a country's economic and military power. China's rapid ascent over the past two decades is largely due to its dominance in global electronics production. With companies like Huawei and ZTE leading in quantum computing, artificial intelligence and 5G technologies. In recent years, the United States has been working to limit China's access to semiconductor technologies. Historically, Washington restricted only the export of cutting-edge chips with potential military applications, believing the US could outpace China through innovation and free trade. However, after China unveiled its Made in China 2025 strategy, concerns grew that China's military and economic power were advancing faster than anticipated, using US commercial technologies to gain an edge. In response, the US decided it needed to maintain as large of a lead as possible in semiconductor technology. This strategy involved restricting the sale of advanced semiconductor technologies to Chinese companies, whether for civilian or military use, and strengthening the domestic semiconductor industry with the $280 billion CHIPS and Science Act. But the United States is unlikely to come out on top in the tech war, and here are two main reasons why. First, history shows that rising powers don't just stand by when dominant nations cut off their access to vital resources. Instead, they fight back by boosting their industrial growth and pushing their businesses to move up the value chain, aiming for self-sufficiency. Chinese President Xi Jinping has emphasized the need for self-reliance in science and technology, calling innovation in core technologies crucial for surviving intense international competition. Second, the structure of global value chains, GVCs, complicates efforts for the dominant power to exert pressure on the rising power without facing backlash from its own businesses. Companies tend to prioritize profits over national security, making it easier for the rising power to strengthen its industrial base in response. Cutting off the Chinese market from American chip designers will likely push these businesses further away from Washington. China offers a more attractive environment for tech-intensive industries compared to the United States. Its larger population, lower wages, and stronger government support create a more favorable setting for manufacturing. Additionally, producing chips in the United States takes 25% longer and costs 50% more than in Asia. So what does all this mean for military applications? While the US focused on fighting terrorism for decades, China has been rapidly advancing its military capabilities. So how can America safeguard its innovative edge to protect freedom in these critical times? How do the US ensure it stays ahead in cutting-edge technologies? The US military can only maintain its advantage in areas where the country already leads in technology. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for daily updates on our latest content. Thanks for watching.